Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another run with the Losi 5B. Last time I had this out, it was super hot. I think it was like uh, 31 or 32 degrees Celsius. Uh, with humidity, it was even warmer. Um, today is a lot nicer. I was out actually this morning running the Rustler. It's about 20 degrees, feels like 20 degrees. So I'm just gonna have some fun with this today. Again, nothing crazy. I do have the jump, but if you're expecting big air, that's not gonna happen. Uh, I'm just letting you know right now. Anyways, let's get to running. Right, guys if you guys are listening to this i apologize about the wind it's really windy out here i also know people like to kind of hear the engine even if you go even if you like the music usually you still like to hear the motor whether it's gas or electric <laughs> uh, this thing is so smooth Seriously, if you guys can see my face right now, it's just a big smile. Oh, yes. It's so smooth, so nice. Even without having those big crazy tires, I can still correct really easily. Or at least, well, from the height of the jumps I'm doing right now. So smooth. All right, let's try it from down here now. Oh yes, my God, it's nice. Like I would say there's not guys a ton of correction there like but it's enough that if you're you know, if you're coming down not too too bad you're almost you know where you're supposed to be yeah there's a little bit of speed there there's a little bit of uh correction possible <laughs> oh man this thing's fun i am guys taking it I don't want to say I'm taking it easy, but I, I, I wanted to come home today looking the way it kind of does now. <laughs> Crazy that without even having a big system, like I don't have a ton of speed, it still just flies so nice. Oh man. Woo! 
All right, guys, we got the bee back home on the bench. And you know what? Today was awesome. It was awesome because one, driving this thing all the time is just cool. But more so today, I saw the potential of this thing. And for those that don't know, I'll kind of just, you know, put this out, out there that when I bought this, you know, it was kind of a dream build. I bought it thinking that, you know, it would just be something fun I would take out here and there, eventually do the 12S system in it have you know a fast buggy that would be kind of the fun of it you know i would get out throw the two six sls in it make it 12s and rip it around and have a good time but what i saw today was just how much fun this thing can really be i've owned a lot of fifth scales i've never had one of them feel as good as this did today just the jumping the smoothness everything about it this thing just really showed me today the potential that it has and what i think i'm going to do now um, is I'm going to skip the 12S system. I, I don't want to put two 6S cells in this buggy and add more weight. What I'll probably do is save up and drop an 1100 kV in it. That'll give me a lot more RPMs. It will give me, uh, so it'll, obviously with more RPMs, it's going to give me more speed. And I think that'll just kind of fill in that little bit of a void there because today really on how I was running it today with the 800 and just, you know, taking it up to the little ramp and just jumping it the way way I was, which was nothing crazy, guys. I understand that. But it was a lot of fun. And you know what? It had perfect amount of power for what I was doing today. Obviously, if I had more power than when I'm doing the, you know, general ripping around and stuff like that, it would be even more fun. And, and it, hey, it'll be more powerful. Um, but, yeah, guys, I am blown away by just how well this buggy drives. I have owned you know, low C5Ts. I've owned all the HBIs. I've owned DBXLEs. I've had two or three of those. Um, as well as some other, you know, to be fair, the FG Baja, the two-wheel drive and the four-wheel drive are amazing machines as well. But this thing for its size just is is amazing. It's phenomenal. I am beyond guys excited. I, when I was watching back some of the video, I kind of was hoping it, it didn't come through the way I wanted it to because I genuinely, guys, the whole time I was driving this, the whole time I was jumping it, had a smile on my face. It just really blew me away. I feel like I need to say this because everybody always wants to point stuff like this out. Yes, I know there are lots of people on YouTube that jump these things like crazy and they bash them hard. That's awesome. But I've always said right from the beginning that this is, is not going to be that kind of buggy. I'm going to have fun with it. But I'm not going to beat on it. I don't want to bring it home like I did my Creighton that day with a bent chassis and everything else broken on it. Um, you know, not everything can be built like an X-Max. This thing is built very well. But again, I just don't want to destroy it. So what you'll probably see in the future or probably, you know, maybe during the winters, like I said, I've got to save up some money. I'll drop in. I'll take this 800 out. I'll drop in an 1100 and I'll give that a run and see how it is. But yeah, guys, I was... Uh, Today was a lot of fun. I was super pumped, super excited, and I wanted to stay out. The reason I didn't, and I just kind of ended sort of quick. By the way, when you guys are watching the video, sometimes there's parts that are, you know, I filmed earlier on. There's parts that sometimes are filmed near the end. But I noticed today, unfortunately, this. And after I noticed that, I actually took the buggy and I'd kind of positioned this a little bit different. And then started driving it around and was like, no, no, this is just a really bad idea. Because I didn't have any electrical tape or anything with me to even cover it up. So I was like, you know what? No, I'm just going to stop running it. So I did. I think it's after, oh, I can't remember There's, there's what part I had noticed it. But when I did notice it, I was like, you know what? Nope, I'm not going to do that. And so I've got to fix that. I'll probably just clip, remove clip and just bring this back a little bit. But anyways, guys, that's it. The low C5B. Um, you know what? I, I hate saying stuff like this because it sounds kind of mean, but if you're in the market right now and you're buying a fifth scale, if you can get your hands on a low C5B and take the time and, and build it, pick out your electronics, all that kind of fun stuff, I'm going to tell you right now, it is worth it because this thing is so much fun to drive. Um, you know, I get out with my other trucks and I enjoy them and I have fun when I get home. It's kind of like whatever this thing I just want to keep going out with. And like I said, I was kind of upset that, you know, when I noticed this, that wire today, I was like, oh man. And like I said, I had kind of positioned it a certain way and started driving it around. I was like, you know what? No, this is just a bad idea. I don't, I don't, that, that could end really, really bad. But anyways, guys, that's it. That's all. 
I hope you enjoyed this video because I know I had a lot of fun driving the buggy around and making it. But if you did like this video, guys, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And uh, maybe one or two picks. Take care.